Yeah, there's a random dog in the petting zoo. And of course, that's what you want to play with. You want to play with the puppy? It seems yeah. old. That's a cud. Oh, look how cute. That is a cute puppy, kind of like you. It's yeah. like me. Yeah. Oh, wait. Is he like a puppy? Yeah. He doesn't have opposable thumbs. Yeah, he doesn't have opposable thumbs. That is correct. So Pop he can't. He has a bum bum. He has a bum bum? Yeah. Look at that, buddy. Do you want to hop? Are you going to hop? No? Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> Do you have it on video? Yeah, I have just picture. Oh wait, he's coming. Oh, he wants Sue now. Take this thing. Hold on. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. Kate, hold on. I'm just kidding. Yeah, this is the meaner. I just Okay. Okay, you want more food? Here, Can you get a tape on this? Okay. Or he took the bag from this cart here, I think. I was afraid the big guy. Okay, we gotta hold on to the food. He just looks mad. Yeah. He's like, don't do it. Hey, look, this one has a Joey. Wait, wait, look, look. The one on the hill. It has a baby. Wait, wait, do you see the pouches opening? This one. This one. Oh, here, let's get it to stand up. Hey, wait, stand up. I saw I saw a baby. Yeah, there's a Joey. See? It's kicking. Do you have a baby? Mama, mama, grandma cookie. Yeah. I don't know if I have a grandma cookie with me. Look. You see your baby? You see there's like a little slit? Yeah. There we go. We're taking a bath. Yeah. Yeah. These are big geese too. Look. Like, <laughs> Goosey, goosey. Don't shake off by me. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Do it again. These are always scary. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, here's our wombat. They're way bigger than I thought they were. I thought they were tiny. Oh, that's a wombat. Okay. Yeah, it is big. I didn't think they were so big. I know so the wombat was. That's pretty cool. Do they have dingoes here? Yeah, they have dingoes here. I pet a dingo once. That's way cool. It's big. It's like a big. Like a yeah, yeah. So this is called a wombat. Wombat. No. Oh, wallaby is a tiny kangaroo. Oh. But this is a wombat. Oh, it's a wombat. It's a wombat. Yeah, so they might have a wallaby in here. I don't see it. There we go. Watch something that could. It might. It, if it sees another peacock, maybe it will raise some feathers. Are you a peacock? Yes. No. It's no, no, no. Hey, don't try. Don't, don't chase it. There we go. Oh, there's Grandpa up there. These foxes are huge. Okay, so there's wolves. Um, what is this thing? I don't know. No, it's not a tortoise. It's a tortoise, guys. It kind of looks like it's a, like a boar? wombat. Um, oh, cap capybara. Oh, it's from South America. Finger. He's biting your finger. But it doesn't hurt. He's like little nibbles. Little <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh. You want to feed the little baby? Nibbling my finger. Out. <laughs> you almost tried to bite it. Oh my gosh, of course you find the cute little babies. Of course I do. <laughs> Here. Here. Oh, that's so cute. He's that's just like one. nibbling the fingers. Can I pet him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Maybe. See him it's hard. nibbling the finger? Oh my gosh, you totally is nibbling your finger. You're brave, son. This guy is in a relaxing session. Oh yes. Yeah. They are calming animals. I know. This oh, one's so not really you can get anxiety bunny. What? Anxiety bunny. <laughs> oh my gosh, that one is so cute. Oh, hey guys, look, 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 here. Can we hold your hands? Look, are they jumping? Uh, think they're eating the grass? Is this guy going to jump? Look. Oh, that's cool. Okay, kangaroos on the beach. It's a 
the kangaroo there. <laughs> First one I'm going to introduce you to is my little mate here. This is Dozer. Dozer is my little baby one back. Okay. Doza is about one year old. Uh, the really cool thing about Doza is Doza was actually born here. So his mum is Miss May, his dad is Luxie. Uh, and you might see Miss May living with her other son Bunker. So Miss May's actually had a couple Thanks of sons so here. So it's actually very cool. Oh, I'm going to have to fix up that Joey because she's having a connection. Now, the coolest thing about oh, <laughs> And Katie is my little Wallaroo Joey, okay? Now, being a Wallaroo, she is not a kangaroo. She is not a wallaby. She's not a funny cross, okay? She is actually a species, a Wallaroo species, and it's a local species. A lot of you might see Wallaroos hopping around here. The easiest way to tell them apart is where you find them. Kangaroos like flat and grassy. Wallaroos like steep, slope and rocky. Okay, you will find wallaroos up rocks and kangaroos will never go up. That's the easiest way to tell. They look very similar otherwise. Wallaroos are a little bit hairier, their hair's like a little bit longer, they look a little bit stockier maybe, but they look very, very similar. Now, little Katie here, being a female, oh sorry mate, uh, being a female she's actually grey. So the other thing about wallaroos is they're what we call sexually dimorphic, so the boys are different colours to girls. So if you go up to what we call Kangaroo Mountain, top end of the zoo next to the slipper dip, if you go up there, there's only two kangaroos, right? The rest of the animals aren't kangaroos, they're wallaroos, right? And if you have a look at them, there's one big chocolate brown animal. That's my boy, that's Ozzy, that's her dad. Everyone else is a light grey colour. They're all girls. So you can tell she's a girl because she's that light grey colour. So that. So yeah. she's Yeah, these two little girls here. These two little girls are ringtail possums, okay? They're just awesome. little bubbers. They're not a milk anymore. Um, they are like weaning size, so this is just a little Joey ringtail possum. Now, you can tell it's a ringtail possum because it's got that little white tip oh, yeah. on the end of its tail <laughs> which they oh, like to hang by except so these two are a little bit too small there we go we're gonna do it we're gonna do it oh. <laughs> okay. a little bit too small for that. Uh, so they got that little white tip on the end of the tail which they like to hang by now these little guys are fairly common okay a lot of you will have these in your backyard you have them in your backyard for a couple of reasons uh one they're probably having breakfast so these little guys like to eat native flowers, they'll eat the tips off you from eucalyptus trees. They've also learned to eat roses and introduce species, so you know they're probably having dinner. But another reason you find them in your house with you is because these little guys, well they're probably living in your roof. Now, the reason they live in your roof is actually really easy. All you do is you Google ringtail possum distribution on your phone these days. That'll give you a map of Australia with a red dot. Everywhere these little guys are found out in the wild. Look at every single red dot. It is where us humans have decided to build a town. We are literally living in their backyard. Now, out in the wild, they like to live in the hollows of little trees. What's the first thing you cut down to build the towns? Trees. trees right? They see your roof, it's warm, it's dark, it's quiet, it's dry. That's why they move in. So if you have a possum in your roof, you want to get rid of it, fair enough, it's your roof. But you have to remember, it's their backyard too. You've got to give them somewhere to go. So this is what you do, actually really easy. What you do, you get yourself a possum box. It's literally a wooden box with a hole in the front, like they're not technical. You can build one, you can buy one. All right, so nothing happened because it wasn't easy. He knew we were throwing that meat. So what we're going to do now, Try and show you how aware these guys are of what's going on. Cody, whenever he's ready, is going to throw some meat in a Johnny strike zone. We'll just see what happens. Oi! Oh, oh, Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> 
All right, like we said, we can't show his speed and accuracy. He's a little bigger, he's not as warm as he would be up north. We just want to show you how wary is. If you think that's easy, spin around. We'll throw this in the back of your head. See so if you know it's coming. All righty. Because Dawn didn't come.